What's going on, guys? Jordan here, coming back at you again with another episode of Beer Reviews. Tonight, we're going to be reviewing Landshark. This is a beer that I've been wanting to try for really several years. I just never got around to picking it up. I almost have a couple of times uh, as a review, but I always end up seeing something else. Luckily, tonight, this is really all that I've seen at the Walmart neighborhood market that I haven't really tried or that I was actually interested in. So, decided to pick this up. I believe I paid $9 and some change. I don't know the exact price because my digital receipt never came to my phone. So, don't know what happened there. So, I don't know the exact price. I just know it was 9 and some change, probably a little over $10 after tax. Uh, the ABV is actually not listed on the bottle, but I did look it up right before I started this video. It's coming in at 4.6% ABV. So, it says Island Style Lager, Land Shark Lager, Fins Up, Margaritaville Brewing Company, St. Louis, Missouri. Margaritaville. It's even got their, their logo right there. I did not know that that was brewed by Margaritaville. It's pretty cool. Pretty basic bottle, just a little stick on label. Let's go ahead and crack into this and see what it's all about. I've heard people say that it's similar to Corona, which I love. I know it's in a clear bottle, so I do expect some skunkiness. It is a twist off. Cap for the collection. It doesn't really smell like a Corona. It kind of just smells like a lager. Typical lager. I do smell sweetness though. Let's get it into a glass. All right. So quite a large head on there. That's what she said. I had to do it. The opportunity was there and I took it. So we got a, about a two and a quarter finger head there. White, soapy head. Golden, clear appearance. The aroma. Not as much out of the bottle as I, or out of the glass as I was getting in the bottle. There's some bubbles in there. I do expect some skunkiness. That's kind of a sign of that. But let's find out. Let's get the taste. Cheers, guys. Oh, okay. So, I'm not really getting any skunkiness at all, really. It's kind of weird. That's just a damn good beer. Honestly, there's no bitterness. It's very smooth. There is a sweetness to it, a malty sweetness. How do they prevent this from skunking if it's in a clear bottle? Do they keep it out of sunlight intentionally? It's weird. super easy to drink goes down like nothing it does have a decent amount of flavor on it like i said it's like a malty sweetness no bitterness really smooth easy to drink i'm actually really impressed with that it's there's nothing obviously there's nothing crazy special about it it's just a pretty good beer pretty good lager it's not really anything that I haven't tasted before. Then again, it is because it, it has its own it has its own flavor to it. So I shouldn't say that I've never had. It's not something I haven't. It's not something I haven't had before. It's it's good. Very very smooth. 
It's even smoother than Budweiser, and that's that's a really smooth beer. Uh, I would I could see myself picking these up. Uh, I'm kind of curious to see how lime would uh, how lime would fare in this. I think that'd be a pretty good uh, addition to this beer. Although it doesn't need it, it's already great on its own. As far as a rating goes, I'm going to have to hit this one with a 9 out of 10. It's that good. It's it, I can't find any reason to give it any lower than that. Uh, and the only reason I wouldn't give it a 10 is because it's not anything crazy tasty or anything. It's just really good for what it is. And it's definitely an easy drinking beer. So if you're into sessionable beers, this is definitely a sessionable beer for sure. Very good. So, I'm impressed. I like it. 9 out of 10 from me here at Beer Views. If you guys have had this beer, be sure to leave it in the comment section below and tell me what you guys think about it as well. Also, if there's anything you want me to try in the future, leave it in the comment section below. And I'll do my best to try to find it and give it a review. Be sure to hit me with a thumbs up. As always, thank you guys for watching. And until next time. Cheers. Thanks for watching.